So since I'm a bit late on my review for The Last Duel, I felt it was the smartest idea to combine my reviews for both The Last Duel and Dune. <laughs> The Last Duel is Ridley Scott's newest historical epic starring Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, and Adam Driver. In the movie, we witness France's last legally sanctioned duel in history that took place between a knight and his former best friend after a rape charge. Originally slated for a 2020 release, The Last Duel was another one of my most anticipated movies of that year before it got delayed, and now it is finally here, a film that I have been waiting so anxiously for since... Like I said, we never get Hollywood epics anymore. And so it was super nice that I got to see this movie in theaters, a Ridley Scott historical epic. This is what this man is known for. His track record proves that he is great at making big historical Hollywood epics. Nobody else in Hollywood does it better than Ridley Scott when it comes to making these types of films. And as expected, the scale of The Last Duel is massive. The production design is immaculate. The sets are huge. You can tell from the first couple of shots alone that this is a big budget movie. The actual price to make this film was $100 million, and there is no chance that they even come close to making that money back because this has been one of the biggest bombs of the year, unfortunately, but at least it looks really cool. In terms of the performances, the accents are iffy, I will admit. I just don't buy Matt Damon or Ben Affleck as French. I'm not sure if that was intentional, but their accents certainly did not sound French at all. Either way, I liked everyone in this movie. I found the performances pretty good across the board and some great. The story is good too. That's why I was excited to see this movie. Not only is it an epic, but it also has a very intriguing premise. The film surrounds former best friends Adam Driver and Matt Damon's characters and how Adam Driver does something so horrible behind the back of Matt Damon's character that it builds up to this eventual duel between the two characters to the death. I found the last duel story extremely engaging, especially when we get to the main story, which of course is this rape case. For a lot of people, that is a touchy subject matter, but luckily the film doesn't just brush over it like it's not a big part of the movie because this is what the movie is all about. It treats it as if it's something that needs to be talked about if it happens to somebody. I also really love the action sequences in The Last Duel when they took place. I wouldn't say the action sequences top Gladiator, Troy, Kingdom of Heaven, or so many other historical epics that I've seen before with great action sequences, but it still stands on its own two feet, and some of the action sequences are really good. But The Last Duel never reaches its potential because it decides to tell its story from three separate perspectives. It breaks it up into three different acts. And once the first act is over and we see the other two perspectives, until we get to the final duel, this movie is very repetitive. I say that because there are some scenes in the film that we see three times and that's not necessary at all. There was no reason to show the same exact scenes over and over again. I got the point already. When telling a story from different perspectives, there are more creative ways of doing it. Just look at Atonement, for instance. But The Last Duel squandered all of its potential by showing the same exact scenes over and over again without really having a true different perspective. Obviously, there are portions of The Last Duel I loved, but when the film kept showing the same scenes over and over again, I was checking my watch. But at least we got another Ridley Scott historical epic. That's all that matters to me. And I'm giving The Last Duel a 75%. Dune is Denis Villeneuve's next visual masterpiece with a star-studded cast and a lot of exposition. These are the things I come to expect nowadays when seeing a Villeneuve movie. This is the newest vision of Frank Herbert's science fiction novel where the son of a noble family is tasked with protecting a dangerous desert planet from an invading army. I think at this point you all know how I feel about Denis Villeneuve. The guy is a great director, but his earlier films I have always found better than his more recent big blockbuster 
adventure movies, if you want to call them that. In all ways, Arrival and Blade Runner 2049 are the blockbusters made by Denis Villeneuve over that of his earlier films. And I never get why this guy never draws a huge box office despite having these star-studded casts and visual masterpieces, as I said in my intro to this movie review. Though I would not be surprised if Dune is the first movie from Villeneuve that breaks that bad streak, because it's already done pretty well at the box office. And for me, I found Dune way better than both Arrival and Blade Runner 2049. This is one of his better movies of the last 10 years. My first positive for Dune will be the same exact first positive I had for The Last Duel. It's that this movie is a visual masterpiece with an epic scale. The production design is mind-blowing. The sets are huge. Again, I could tell just from the first shot alone that this is a big budget movie and probably in many people's eyes a blockbuster and unlike Blade Runner 2049 I was immediately gripped by the story and I was slowly carefully trying to put together this world in my head. I never read the book, I never saw the 1984 movie, but eventually I would love to. Because this world is huge, there is so much of this universe we have yet to see, and I want to learn more about it. I want to see how these people migrated to their respective planets, or find out more information about the technology and how everything works. I thought the Denis Villeneuve did a great job in building up this world and making it feel like a place that has been lived in, like it actually exists in real life. I know for a fact if there is going to be a sequel to this movie, the first film is the one that sets everything up, and then the second movie will be more action-packed. Denis Villeneuve himself said this. Overall, I was invested in Dune's character, story, and universe throughout my entire viewing of this movie. If you know the story of Dune, you're aware of the existence of these sandworms that live on the film's main planet, and every single time one of these giant sandworms appeared on screen, you had me. This is exactly what I'm looking for when watching a movie. I want to get gripped, and these scenes in particular did that for me. I can't go without mentioning the cast. This is 2021's best cast, hands down. We all knew this ahead of time. This pretty much goes without saying, but I just have to recognize the greatness of each and every single person who starred in this movie. I really enjoyed Dune. This is definitely one of the better experiences I've had in the movie theaters in 2000. 2021, I was so happy I got to check this movie out in theaters over that of watching it on HBO Max. If you watch it on HBO Max, what is wrong with you? Go to the movie theater and see it on a big screen. But I do have one big issue with Dune. It's about the final act. The first two thirds of Dune are great, and then after what is basically Dune's climax, the movie is no longer nearly as good. It slows down big time, and I had no idea where the movie was going next. And as many people speculated, this movie is building towards a part two, so the ending of this movie is very abrupt. It's not really a climax. There's just a scene, and then it ends, and now I guess we're gonna have to wait for a second one if it's greenlit by the studio. Hopefully it is, but I found the ending of this movie extremely anti climatic, they could have done something better than that. Originally, before hearing the speculation from the critics, I thought we were going to get the full book in this one movie, and if it were up to me, I would have made this movie three hours long and just put the entire book into this one film. But of course, there's probably going to be a part two, because why the heck not? Though that will never change the fact that I found the ending of this movie really abrupt, extremely disappointing, and a weird way to end a movie. It's just like how Blade Runner 2049 ended. Why does Denis end his movies like this nowadays? But again, Dune is a sensational cinematic experience. Definitely see this movie in the theaters if you can. And I am giving Dune an 83%. Alright, for those of you who happen to see The Last Duel or Dune or both in theaters or at home, definitely let me down below in the comment section what your thoughts are of them. And as always, if you are new to my channel, click the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I hope you all have a fantastic day.